you have your notifications on, Y for yes and for no, it better be a Y for yes. Turn on the notifications so you know every single time the Raiders report goes live. And the reason why you need to do it now is because it's free agency and breaking news happens. So if you had your notifications turned on, you would know, guess what, that the Raiders, they cut to hear Whitehead just like we discussed many times here on the Raiders report. Now, I liked Whitehead. He was a leader on the team, but his time with the Raiders, it was up. And by them cutting him, they're going to save $6.25 million in 2020. That's a big time saving. And the reason why they're moving on, they need linebackers that can cover tight ends. And they need some linebackers that can cover running backs. Now, it definitely hurts the depth a little bit. There's no doubt about that. But I have confidence, knock on wood if you're with me, that Mike Mayock and John Gruden are going to be able to find some pieces. Yes, this is thin. Yes, this doesn't look good. And yes, I expect Will Compton, Vontez Perfect to not be on the team. Even Kyle Wilber, probably going to let him move on. So they're definitely going to have to go out and find some other pieces. Now, a lot of people will sit there and be like, Mitch, I can't believe that the Raiders, they moved on from Tahir Whitehead. And a lot of those people just look at the tackles. Four straight years of over 100 tackles. But Whitehead was always exposed in the passing game. He would never got to the quarterback, and he didn't force any turnovers. For a player to play as many snaps as Whitehead did, he wasn't giving us a lot in terms of production, to be honest with you. Tackles are just, I think, a very false stat. A stat that I always look at when talking about Whitehead, it's his coverage stat. So when he was targeted, he gave up an 81% completion percentage. That's not good. So basically for math, he was passed that 10 times, he'd give up eight catches. He also gave up 616 yards, seven touchdowns, but an average of 13-1 yards per catch. That's just not getting it done in today's NFL. And for Mike Mayock, a guy who wants a tight end that can cover tight ends, that can cover the running back underneath, that can just be spread out and be versatile, to so here was just not a versatile linebacker. That's why, unfortunately, his time with the team, it's up. If you're watching this on YouTube, I got this pinned to the video. I want you to name a linebacker that the Raiders should sign. You're watching the Raiders report here on Chat Sports. I'm Mitchell Renz, and I am going to go and see how many people comment on this. So you might get with an ad break while the ad is playing. I want you to scroll on down, and I want you to name a linebacker that the Raiders should sign. Number seven on my list of potential to hear whitehead replacements, it's Nick Vigil. Now, I think he's got great desire, great passion for the game. Really good coverage linebacker. Eh, maybe really is a little bit of a stretch. Good coverage linebacker, but uh, he's not the best tackler whatsoever. Okay, that's clear. I do think, though, he knows the Paul Gunther system, and he might be able to help it, might be able to help this Raiders defense out. And I know Gunther likes him a lot, so he drafted him in the third round back in 2016. With his ability to cover, that's why he was drafted in the third round by Gunther. Now, we just had a combine. You guys got combine fresh in your mind. He ran a 6.733 cone drill and a four-second flat 20-yard shuttle. Both very impressive, show his side-to-side -side ability. Now, you're going to see his past four years. He is very good in coverage, but again, it's the, the tackling is the issue here. I know you see 111 tackles, but he missed 19 tackles this past year. That is a lot, a lot of missed tackles for a linebacker. Now, I think he could probably be a starter, but I think he's going to be better off in a rotation. And if the Raiders do go out and get Nick Vigil, this is what I think that the depth chart would look like. You put him on where Tahir Whitehead was. You're still going to have, you know, you're still going to have to go out and look for a middle linebacker. Don't be surprised if some of these other players on this list could also be pairing up there with Nick. But uh, at this moment, with the current depth chart, if we go out and sign Nick, that's personally where I think he would be. So after they released Whitehead, I want to know from all y'all, is linebacker our biggest need? Why for yes, or I want you to type your end for no. I mean, in terms of just depth, I think it's our biggest need in terms of depth. I think defense right now is actually a bigger need than offense. The only way that I would say wide receiver is because we need to finally figure out what we have in Derek Carr, okay? What we have in Derek Carr. So is linebacker the Raiders' biggest need? I want you to type Y for yes, <clears throat> or I want you to type your end for no. What I need in my life, these t-shirts. I don't know about y'all, but I'd never know what to wear for St. Patty's Day. Like, I'm the guy that goes to Party City, goes to Walmart, looks for a ridiculous green shirt that I'm going to spend $20 on and never wear it again. You with me? 
Luckily for y'all, I'm trying to put you in some green so you can look good, rep your team on St. Patty's Day. If you want this shirt, it's chatsports.com slash RaidersGreen1. I will put it in the description. It is under $30, but wait, there's more. There's another t-shirt if you want this one to rep. This one's chatsports.com slash RaidersGreen2. Both of these shirts, under $30. You can wear them for the next, I don't know, 10 St. Patrick's Days. If you keep in good shape. Or maybe if you bulk up, then maybe you have to get a new one. But under $30, rep your team on St. Patty's Day. Let's go now to the number six linebacker here on my list. It's Kevin Pierre-Lewis, and he's a little bit undersized. There's no doubt about that, but he's a very good athlete and a very good athlete for a linebacker. With his athletic ability, I think that he's a player where don't be surprised if the Raiders go out and sign him. You could potentially see him maybe play safety and play linebacker because I think he is that athletic. I mean, again, we're talking about combines. This dude, I get it, back in 2014, ran a 4.5140 yard dash. That's impressive. If you want a player that's pretty quick, yes, he is a little bit undersized as a linebacker, but what does Mike Mayock want? Versatility, that's what he wants. Now he played in 213 snaps, okay? And the Bears, they mainly used him when they needed to cover, okay? Third downs, that's when you really saw Kevin come out on the field. But the thing that I really like, and this might hurt your ears, the Bears, great defense with Khalil Mack, but he started to get more playing time as the season went along. And when I look at free agents that I want the Raiders to target, I start to see players that started to play better at the end of the season because that's what I want on my team. So let's say the Raiders, they go out, they get Pierre Lewis. I think you're going to put him, again, at the strong linebacker's position where to hear Whitehead was. Now, you're going to see some inside linebackers. You're going to see some outside linebackers. Again, this is just how I project the depth chart to be if it was right now going out and getting this player. The number five linebacker on my Tahir Whitehead replacements, it's Nick Kukowski. Now, he might not be a household name, but he was excellent for the Bears this last season. He stepped in for an injured Danny Trevathan, which are some seriously big shoes to fill. A solid pass rusher, okay? I think if you really want to see his upside, you're probably going to tell him to go out and uh, pass rush a little bit more frequently. But he's also pretty decent in coverage, and he's also pretty decent at defending the run. Now, relatively, he's inexperienced, okay? He started just 22 career games. That's not a lot of experience. But this dude's upside, I'm telling you. He's got a lot, a lot of upside in, in college, West Virginia. I had to go back and watch some of his tape. But he's continuing to get better and better. And that's what I want. Fourth round pick out of West Virginia can do basically it all for me. And when I think about what you're potentially going to get in a Nick I always don't say it right. Nick Kwiatkowski, he's getting better, and he's a quick learner. And I'm going to use this term, Gruden Grinder. Go watch the film. Go watch this kid play. He's, I'm telling you, a Gruden Grinder. Now, he is an inside linebacker, so I think the best fit for him on our team right now would actually be here at the middle linebacker position. I also think he's the type of player, though, with his pass rushing ability that he could actually go and play outside linebacker if you really, really needed him to. The biggest issue here for the Raiders is they don't have a lot of team at linebacker. So don't be mad when I have a lot of these players as starters. The number four linebacker here on my list. Now we're getting into some good names. It's Josh Bynes. And if you're looking for just a really solid cover linebacker, here you go. He's also pretty solid in the run game. I'd say his only weakness, though, is his, his ability to probably get after the quarterback. But let's get one thing straight. You're not signing Josh Bynes to get after the quarterback. You are signing Josh Bynes at age 30 to be able to cover tight ends, to be able to cover running backs. I Again, when I think about what Bynes could do, I think he could really help out this team, okay? Now, for you PFF fans out there, I know you're going to absolutely love this stat. This stat here is that he ranked 14th as the best linebacker in 2018 and actually 6th best in 2019. Now, part of me wonders if you're seeing a lot of those rankings and numbers based on the fact that he played with the Ravens. Because the Ravens historically have been a great franchise of molding linebackers. But if you're telling me right now I can go out and get Josh Bynes, put him as the middle linebacker for this team, it's something that I would do because of when I listen to Mike Mayock talk. If there is one player that I'm actually starting to become more around on that I think could actually be in silver and black, it is... It is Josh Bynes because of his ability to cover, because of the versatility he's going to be able to give you on defense 
in the running game, in the passing game. So again, do not be surprised whatsoever if Nick Vines is on the team. But we're going to play a game. Okay, you want to play a game? Saul, I want you to type B for Vines, or I want you to type K for Krakowski. Which linebacker would you rather the Raiders go out and sign? Now, I think Vines signs a one-year deal, and I think Krakowski's probably like two years, three million. I think Vines is actually probably another like one year, three million. So type B for Vines, or I want you to type K for Krakowski. Today's sponsor, it's Bet the Aside. They're the internet's number one sports book. Now, I understand it's not the NFL season, and maybe you don't want to go bet on XFL. Hard to believe you don't want to go bet on cricket, really. You can go bet on the NBA and who you think is going to win the title. Right now, the LA Lakers, they got the best odds at plus 150. I will say, the Clippers, they're kind of interesting to me there at plus 330. They got Kawhi. He's great. I don't trust anybody from the East. So for me, though, I do have my money on the Lakers at plus 150. Again, that is at Bet the Asai. You can bet on the NBA. You can bet on the MLB. But do it at the Internet's number one sports book. Use the promo code Raiders120. It's going to get you 120% deposit bonus. The number three player for Raiders linebacking free agent targets to help replace here Whitehead is Kyle Van Noy. And 2019 showed me that Van Noy, in my opinion, is one of the best pass rushing linebackers that's actually just like standing up. Um, very versatile player. Can play, I think, anywhere for the Raiders on that front seven. Now, ideally, ideally... He doesn't play defensive tackle, okay? But you can put him on the edge. If, let's say, Cleveland, let's say, Max, they need a breather, I'm okay putting Kyle Van Noy defensive end. Now, let's say we have a few extra players out there and we need to maybe put Van Noy back at linebacker. He can do it. What do Mike Mayock and John Gruden want? Versatility. What does Paul Gunther need to keep his job? Versatility. And Kyle Van Noy, to me, is a player that I like a whole bunch. And he had eight sacks last year, nine quarterback hits. I mean, 43 hurries on 464 rushes. Kyle Van Noy is a pretty solid player. And at age only 28, I get that he had a slow start with the Lions. And I get that he's started to play well for the Patriots, which does make me a little bit nervous. But I want a versatile player. And that's Kyle Van Noy. And I think you can go out and get him for a pretty, uh, I think right now he's the most bang for your buck linebacker out there. Especially all the names that you're going to see on screen right now. But put him at the uh, strong linebacker position. Yes, you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do with Morrow. But again, I need versatility, and I need some Van Noy. I also need this. I need y'all to join the Nodi gang. So I told you that I figured out who's got the notifications turned on. And I found out that only 22% of all subscribers have the notifications turned on. So my goal is to get to 30%, okay? So 30% of our subscribers need to get the notifications turned on. So how do you do that? You click the bell. And then click Enable, okay? Click Enable Notification. So every single time we put out a show, every single time that we go live, you know exactly when that happens. So subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. Joe Schobert comes in here at number two, and he's probably going to cost over $10 million a year. And in my opinion, I think he's going to get like a four-year deal. Run defense is uh, definitely his biggest weakness, but he's starting to get a lot better also in the passing game. He was a little bit more of a pass rusher coming out of college, and at Boston College, he you know, kind of played a little bit more of defensive end. The thing that I really, really like about Schobert and that what he's shown is every single year since being drafted in 2016, he's becoming a little bit more and more of a complete linebacker. Now, 2017, he led the league with 144 tackles, and he's putting up these numbers on a Browns team that's just been terrible, okay? But also, you got to look at the fact that 2019 was a good year. But if you want to see the true upside and what Joe Schobert can help us do in coverage, go back and watch his 2018 tape because PFF graded that out as an 88% or 88 grade, which I'm telling you all right now is very, very good. Also, Schobert went to Wisconsin. That's my mistake. Said he went to Boston College. But go back and watch a lot of his film. He continues to get better every single year. And that's why I want Joe Schobert as our middle linebacker. And to be honest, man, I'm telling you what, if we could get Schobert and then the guy at number one as both of our linebackers of free agency, I would be absolutely ecstatic. But before I get to my number one target, I'm going to hit you with this question because they're actually two very, very different players. So pick a linebacker. Kyle Van Noy, type V. Or are you going to go with Joe Schobert? I want you to type S. And we'll give some shout outs to some of the people here that are watching us live on YouTube. 
Oh, boy. It's Tedford. I'll get to your super chat here in a little bit. Chris Smith is going to go V. E.T. says V. Andrew says V. Seeing some S's now from Martin. Seeing Otis says S. I would say 70% of the people are going to go with Kyle Van Noy. So, again, type V for Van Noy or type your S for Joe Schober. The number one, no surprise, it's, it's Corey Littleton. And if you've watched the show for the last two months, you'll know that Corey Littleton is like the dude that I really, really want here for the Raiders to go out and get. And it's easy. And I don't care if he's probably going to get $50 million over four years. If you want a cover linebacker who can cover tight ends, running backs underneath, like, this is the guy you got to go out. He is an extremely hardworking player, a 2016 UDFA who has just taken nothing for granted and has worked his tail off. And he continues to get better and better, and he had 18 pass breakups, six interceptions over the last two years. Yes, I think a little bit the tackling concerns me here and there, but in today's NFL, if you want a versatile linebacker, Corey Littleton's your dude, and he's only 26 years old only 26 years old you can put him on the defense right now slap a c on his chest because he's going to be a captain he's going to be a leader on and off the field and i'm telling you right now you could put him you could put him almost anywhere on this linebacking depth chart and i'd be okay with it and if we could go out and maybe get a joe Schober and get a Corey littleton which are both very possible in free agency that's an absolute slam dunk because then at number 12 in the draft who knows maybe go out and snag a player like a CD lamb. So if you watch all the way until the end, I appreciate that. Give me a follow on Instagram at MitchellRen365 and DM me linebacker. That way I know you watch until the very end. So after every single show that I do, I go, I look at my DMs, I see what people have to say. So tell me what you liked, tell me what you didn't like about the show, and tell me a linebacker that you want the Raiders to target in free agency. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.